Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product preview of our Halloween adapted books. So there's three different adapted books included in this series that all target different basic skills. These are some of my favorite. They turned out so cute, and I just love Halloween, so I know your kids will really, really love these because... All kids love Halloween. So I'm going to go through the three different books. These were created by the speech helper, Sarah Gast, who is a speech pathologist. So these are working on a lot of great communication skills and a lot of different types of activities that your learner it will be perfect for all types of learners. So each book includes very detailed directions of setup. We want to make this as easy as possible for you so that you're storing the pictures in the right way. And especially if you're using this with younger learners, preschool, kindergarten, that there's not a lot of muss and fuss, that there's going to be the pieces are going to be easy to find and the book is going to be set up really well. So the book, Where's the Jack-O-Lantern? targets preposition. So it's going to target above, under, next to, and on. So each page follows a familiar pattern. Where is the jack-o-lantern? The student will find the jack-o-lantern and follow the prompt to put it in the correct spot. So look, a jack-o-lantern next to the skeleton. And when you set up this book, you have to make sure to put Velcro in multiple spots so your students just aren't responding to where the Velcro is. They're actually responding to the preposition. And this book is really cool because if you'll notice, all the jack-o'-lanterns are different. So your student's going to have to find the correct jack-o'-lantern each time. So we're really looking at two components here. We're looking at finding this matching jack-o'-lantern between a lot of jack-o'-lanterns that look similar. So for our kids that struggle to discriminate, this is going to really be good for them. And then they're also going to respond to that preposition. So this is the storage page, so you won't need to deal with any baggies. Everything will be right on one side. Um, the next one, What's Scaring You, is one of Sarah and I's favorites. So this is based off of our What's Bugging You books, which are a crowd pleaser, but this one is a Halloween theme. So instead of What's Bugging You, it's What's Scaring You. So What's Scaring You, and then it says, Boo, a ghost on the haunted house. So the students will have to find the correct ghost and put it on the correct Halloween vocabulary term. And our kids just die over this. They absolutely love this book. The pictures are so cute here. So this is a really, really fun one that actually a lot of kids ask for. So it's pretty fun. So the ghost on the correct spot. And again, no baggies needed. This is going to all go on one little storage page on the side. Um, next, Scarecrow, Scarecrow, what do you see? So this is a great one to target counting and vocabulary. So it's going to, again, follow that familiar routine, which is great for some of our kids with emerging verbal skills. It'll really, your kids will really almost start to read this book because they'll get familiar with that repetition and be able to anticipate the words that are coming. So each page, Scarecrow, Scarecrow, what do you see? And then I see one farmer. So they're going to be matching the number one and the picture of the farmer. So each page goes up, two apple trees, three haystacks, four piles of leaves, and all the way through to 10. And here are all the pieces, so they're going to match the number and match the item. So it's great to kind of have the option to do two pieces too, so it'll just incorporate a few more steps into this book. And here's the page for that. Um, like I said, these books are just adorable, and literally we have kids that ask for these books and want to work for them. That's how fun they are. So again, this was a product preview of our Halloween adapted books by theautismhelper.com.